Deputy, and to Minister Rabin, and to you members of the press. I'm here today on a serious matter, and I'm here to address some very serious and defamatory allegations made on the VSB news. Let me be clear, and let me be unequivocal. This report that has been talked about on VSB is not a PLP report. And let me be equally clear, there has been absolutely no involvement by Mr. Michael Markham in our election campaign. Burr News correctly noted that the opinion was prepared for a group that calls itself the Young Progressives and that this group is not affiliated, nor has it ever been affiliated with the Progressive Labour Party. It's an independent group that is tied to an independent candidate running for the House of Assembly. Our attorneys have been instructed to file a defamation lawsuit against all parties that our attorneys deem appropriate. For a news organization to not even give us the courtesy of a phone call before alleging that an opinion entitled, and I quote, electoral strategy of racist politics, close quotes, and subtitled, and I quote, racist propaganda, close quotes, is beyond the pale. From what we could make out on our television screens last night, the report appeared to begin with a quote from Adolf Hitler. Disgusting. We condemn this piece in the strongest terms. The report is an insult to the intelligence of every Bermudian, and it is inconceivable that any political party would commission anything that began with a quote from the Nazi leader. It's not believable of the PLP, nor is it believable of the ODA. And we expect VSB News to issue a full retraction, leading all of their newscasts. Now, those are my comments on that matter. I'm now quite happy to take your questions. role do you think race has played or does play in the campaigns of both political parties? I think race is always a factor. Race is always a factor. What you see from a government point of view, what you see from a political point of view, is people are looking at how will the election of one party over another affect their livelihoods, the choices, and their opportunities. And when people are making a decision in the ballot box and on the, the, as to how to mark their ballot, it's going to be about what party they believe will stand strong for them. And when we still have a country where in many aspects you still see that there are sometimes areas which are considered no-go areas based on the color of your skin, I think it certainly has an impact on how you choose to vote. It, it's clear. I just have to look at even as I canvass around. It's a different, there are different expectations, different requirements of different constituencies you visit. And I think that what we are going through right now, where people are still struggling, what they're looking for is a government and a party that has made and continues to pledge to help raise their living and also address their needs. So even though you may not make race your calling card as your front line in your election strategy, we'd be naive if we ignore the factor of race. Now, what I would say though, what I think is equally reprehensible, is that when we seek to dupe or fool people and try and market ourselves as something that we're not, purely to try and dupe people into voting for us. That can't be good. And what we have stood for as a government and as a party is for transparency. We don't believe in cover-ups. Where we've been the party and the government that has supported and advocated, both in terms of having an office of an ombudsman, talking about patty, talking about open budgeting. So we believe in transparency. And even when, when we are being transparent, we get critiqued for it. 
But what we cannot, what we cannot support, and what we must find indefensible, is when you seek to use people purely because they are black or white as a means of perpetrating a fraud on the voting public. That's not what we stand for. Right, so uh, effectively you are, you are yourself, um, and your party has effectively accused the opposition of using the race in a way that's unacceptable. I is, that, think, is that a good summary of what? I think that's probably a, a summary that is in your words, but I think that I believe that the people of Bermuda right now are having to make a choice. What does that choice mean? It means looking at who you think is going to represent you best and also what is the integrity where you have at stake when you have a choice to make between a party which you see who we are, warts and all. You see us. What you see is what you get. And then you compare and contrast us. Compare and contrast us to a party where it seems there is a report. It seems there is a report. And it seems that the basis of that report is that we are seeking to cover up the real deal. But Premier, that report actually was contained recommendations by an outside consult a consultant from outside of Bermuda that the party has gone on the report. Some of the individuals in it who were named on the report uh, went on the record, namely Michael Dunkley, to say that the advice was rejected. He actually was embarrassed by by the reports. Um, do you? Do you, do you think that maybe the PLP may have, um, by, by relying on that report to prove your point, that, that it might be a bit unfair to the opposition party? I would question that we rely on a report mm -hmm. to make our point. The report is not something that the PLP has made its trump card. Far from it. It has come into the public domain, but that's not what we rely on. What we rely on is going out into the highways and byways of this country, going up and down the country, talking to the people and telling them about what our plans are and what we've done it as a government and we've done it as a party. The fact that you can't ignore what is also in the public domain, and that also will factor into people as they consider the choice. Right, but I guess what I meant was you, you appear, your party appears to be relying on the report to make the point that the OBA is using race in a way that's beyond the pale. No, Even I Even though, as you say, race is um, unavoidable. You cannot you would be naive to avoid the impact of race. No, I, w I would disagree with your assertion as to the fact that the party is relying on the report. Nothing, not at all. What we are saying is that race is a factor, and we are saying that as people make their choice, they will have to look at a party that stands on its record and stands up for Bermudians and stands strong for Bermudians, and a party that people aren't sure what the real deal is. Are there any further questions? Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.